November 6, Wednesday of the 31st week in Ordinary Time A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke Great crowds were traveling with Jesus, and he turned and addressed them, If anyone comes to me without hating his father and mother, wife and children, brothers and sisters, and even his own life, he cannot be my disciple. Whoever does not carry his own cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. Which of you wishing to construct a tower does not first sit down and calculate the cost to see if there is enough for its completion? Otherwise, after laying the foundation and finding himself unable to finish the work, the onlookers should laugh at him and say, This one began to build but did not have the resources to finish. Or what king marching into battle would not first sit down and decide whether with 10,000 troops he can successfully oppose another king advancing upon him with 20,000 troops. But if not, while he's still far away, he will send a delegation to ask for peace terms. In the same way, every one of you who does not renounce all his possessions cannot be my disciple. The Gospel of the Lord Hating Father, Mother In the tight-knit nature of Middle Eastern culture, the family is the cornerstone of society, the pillar that supports the individual. The economics of Jesus, time is deeply embedded in kinship and politics. A good fortune or high office for a member of the family means rejoicing for others who expect profit from it. A disciple who deliberately cut ties with family and social network is bereft of security. This is the cross that he carries behind Jesus. That is why he must calculate the cost of following Jesus and remain firmly committed once he takes this option. But Jesus provides for his disciples a new family, not so much related by blood as bound by their allegiance to Jesus himself. This new family of Jesus provides for the members attending to their physical and spiritual needs. Thus, after Pentecost, the community or larger family of the disciples establishes a networking so that there would be no needy person among them. The Apostle Paul would ask his Gentile converts to contribute to the collection for the Jewish Christian in Jerusalem and their need. For Jews and Gentiles, have become one family in Jesus. What is the larger family you belong to?